10, Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Justice. Is she confident in the progress of the Better Public Services target for the justice sector to reduce overall crime by 15 uh, by 15% by June 2017? Honourable, Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, yes. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How can she be confident crime is reducing when, according to the New Zealand Family Violence Clearinghouse, Family violence investigations increased from 86,800 in 2010 to 95,100 last year, and yet her crime figures show a drop. Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, actually we have confidence in the New Zealand Police, unlike the Labour Party, and in addition to oh, that, yeah. it is a good thing that more people are now reporting family violence. But it's certainly something that many people in this House were growing up, no one spoke about it, and today people have confidence to come forward. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. How can she be confident crime is reducing when there are reports, such as the one in the Taranaki Daily News on 10th of July this year, in which a Crown solicitor confirmed that a police prosecuting sergeant had instructed another officer he should not have laid as many charges in a particular case because of the need to reduce crime by a certain percentage. Honourable Judith well, Collins. Mr Speaker, obviously the Taranaki Daily News is something that we all should be reading. Having said that, of course, the recorded crime rate is not on the number of prosecutions, it's actually on the reported crime. And I'm sure that that member, if he has a look at his notes, would find that I'm correct and he's wrong. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Does she accept that, as Minister of Justice, when she... When she first discovered there had been a misreporting of crime statistics in Counties Monaco, that she should have passed the information on and done something with the information to see how it would affect her justice sector targets, rather than ignoring it because, quote, she was no longer police minister. Honourable well, Judith Mr. Collins. Speaker, absolutely not. This government does not deal in rumour and gossip. And the other thing is... we did, then I might start talking about that member talking the Sunday start. Order, order, um, order. I don't think the answer is going to assist the order. Supplementary. supplementary question, Andrew Little. Will she accept that the combination of arbitrary targets and bonus payments to senior police officers is leading to manipulation and other deceptive conduct in relation to the recording of crime figures and that New Zealanders can have no confidence that crime is reducing as the government claims? Honourable Mr. Judith Collins. No, Mr Speaker, that is an outrageous suggestion to make that the New Zealand Police would ever, as a body, engage in that sort of behaviour. The New Zealand Police are the finest police in the world, and I am proud to be part of a government that supports the police, gives them the tools to do what they need to do, and they are fantastic. I am ashamed that that member would say it. He should be saying sorry, just like his leader always does. Order. Question, question number 11, Eugenie Sage. Tanaka, Mr Speaker, thank you. Tanaka.